Good morning and welcome to TaylorMade, your daily fix of fashion and style as an opportunity. I'm your host, Brian Rada, and we're here on EmpowerMe.tv, where today we are joined by Miss Alexandra Choi. Good morning, Alexandra. Good morning, Brian. Good morning, TaylorMade. Thanks for having me back again, Brian. My pleasure. Let's talk fashion, shall Let's we? talk fashion, shall we? Well, there's so much going on out there. First up, one of the hottest trending topics on the internet today, the pixie cut. We have some amazing images. All the ladies on the red carpet are roxing the pixie cut. Uh, a study came out on Wednesday from Yahoo stating that the pixie cut is searchable right now 511 times higher than it was last year. People are going out there in forests, hitting the internet, searching for the pixie cut in every which way. Some of the top ladies who are rocking it are Kristen Chenoweth. Here we see her looking lovely here with a nice sort of following cascade, flowing cascade face here uh, down the side of her eyes. Uh, next up we have Jennifer Hudson, who obviously, as we know, lost some several pounds over the last year, year and a half. And I think she wanted to get a slender haircut to match. And one of the uh, latest additions to the Pixie Cut Club would be none other than actress of the hour, Miss Jennifer Lawrence. She got a nice uh, pixie cut last week, uh, which she sported at, at a one of the uh, promo events for uh, the latest Hunger Games film. What do you think of pixie cuts, Alexandra? Would you would you wear a wear a pixie cut yourself? I love pixie cuts, but they are a commitment, and I feel like the only time I've really I was tempted to do a pixie cut was uh, when I'm going through a breakup. Brian, is that true? Oh, really? <laughs> yes, really. <laughs> okay, got it. It's a commitment. It's a commitment. So if you're feeling a little down and out, but you want to get a little self-esteem, you want to change things up again a little bit, you go with a pixie cut. Absolutely. Okay, perfect. Well, so what, what do you think some, uh, so when you have the new hairdo, when you've got the pixie cut rolling and rocking, what are some options that you think might be available out there for some ladies? I think there are a lot of options for you uh, when you have the pixie cut because it just shows your face and everything. But I think one of my favorite uh, options right now, it's the bling bling around the ears. Do you know about the bling blings? I, I've heard of the bling bling and I think <laughs> One of our uh, hottest ladies of the moment, Jennifer Lawrence, has also heard of the bling bling. Here we have her at, at the premiere in Paris um, of the Hunger Games sequel. She's wearing a Christian Dior black gown, looking very sophisticated, a nice peekaboo dress there. I love that slit uh, right through the top there. You know, black is always in style, but especially black that is done well. This simple little black dress is looking stunning and elegant, made ever more so um, stunning and elegant by this. Here we see uh, her looking, rocking the real dark lipstick and this beautiful ear cuff uh, right there on her uh, left ear. And let's take a little, a closer look. And there she is. It's like a little bit of ice, as you would call it, a little bit of bling. <laughs> But it's not too much, right? Like, it's very sophisticated. You know, this tended to have a punky vibe, but I think on Jennifer Lawrence, it really comes off just smooth and sophisticated, and I really like it. What are your thoughts, Alexandra? I agree. I think it looks super elegant on her, and the next uh, piece that I found, it's another very elegant um, ear cuff, and it is the Manya Manya telepathic ear cuff for $114, but it's got the little chain. It just looks more dainty and um, just very subtle. So I think you can just wear it with anything. Mm -hmm. So, so if you want to get the if you want to get the Jennifer Lawrence look with a little bit of ice and the ear cuff, this this would be a good option. That would be. I think this is more of a day option. The next piece we have would be a more evening-ish. We have the MKL accessories, the jeweled leaf ear cuff in the green and gold, and that's $10. Nice, nice. Well, one of my favorite pieces of ice is the one we have right here. This is a uh, Zara piece. It's a Zara rhinestone ear cuff for $16. Um, there's a little bit of blue in there as well, and it really 
captures the whole ear. It goes all the way around the ear. These are for you know ladies who are daring, bold, not afraid to show it off. So you see a variance of price points between you know in the hundred dollar plus and up range to very affordable under twenty dollar options if you want to get the look that Jennifer Lawrence rocked this weekend. All right, well enough of ear cuffs. Next up we have Gentlemen's Quarterly. Each week Gentlemen's Quarterly does a weekly roundup of their men of style. This week is no different. And I hand selected some of my favorite images that uh, I think gentlemen who really killed it on the red carpet in the past week. First up, we have Mr. Joe Jonas. Here he is again. We're seeing a lot of trends in men not being afraid to add color to suits. Um, unfortunately, we do know that the Jonas Brothers have disbanded. I think they have disbanded peacefully uh, because they are brothers. And uh, But this did not stop Joe from hitting the red carpets at an event last week in Beverly Hills. He's wearing a, you know, a bolder red tie here with the uh, softer burgundy. And it, it's very sophisticated. I really like it. Um, it has a bit of a zoot suit thing going on. Mm. Here we have Josh Hutcherson, obviously Jennifer Lawrence's co-star uh, from The Hunger Games. Again, the tweed suit. This was similar to a, a suit we saw last week. Um, from, I believe it was Dave Haywood who rocked it out at the Country Music Awards. The tweed is back in, the three-piece suit, nice vest here, and a really nice statement tie uh, captures the look. Can we talk about Orlando Bloom, please, <laughs> <laughs> Ryan? I mean, okay, on the right, he's wearing the puffer, the puffy vest. I think that pretty much transcends gender because I'm completely into puffy vests right now. Yes. And then on the left, he, look at the suit and the shoes. I mean, it's blue and brown. I just love that combo and the fact that he's wearing white underneath. I love it. What do you think? I, I think Orlando looks great no matter what he wears day to night. Again, I'm not a huge fan because of that suit he was wearing. He's not wearing a tie. Mm -hmm. I'm not a huge fan. I'm not a guy. If you're going to go that look, Unbutton that top button is what I think he should be doing there. <laughs> but, you know, I, I love that he's not afraid to wear brown with blue uh -huh. um, and blue with black. And, Alexandra, I have a question for you. Do you yeah. think that that old paradigm of, you know, not mixing blue with black or brown with blue in such a way even exists anymore? I think so. I mean, not all... There are so many different shades that um, I, I, I think it still exists. I think, you know, it's been around for a reason. But, but, but you see Orlando here rocking out. He's got the blue, he's got the brown shoes, he's got the blue, the blue jacket. You think it's working for him? I think it's absolutely working okay. for him. But I, I think back in the day there was a paradigm where you couldn't mix brown with blue. Oh, that there you couldn't You mix. could not. You could not mix them. Oh, I thought that actually existed back in the day where they did start the, the brown and the blue blues together. No? Okay. Well, we'll just have to agree to disagree we'll on this find. one. Yes, we will. <laughs> well, and my, our final pick of the week here is Mr. Gerard Butler. He really killed it last week. Um, he was at the same event that Joe Jonas was at in Beverly Hills. He's wearing a lovely darker blue suit here, um, a lighter blue top, and again, mixing the black and the blue with the black tie and the black shoes. I really think he looks the most sophisticated. So, Gerard Butler, you are our man of the week um, from Gentlemen's Quarterly uh, here on TaylorMade. Congratulations Yay. to you, good sir. And fine up, if, finally up, we have the sweater. It is winter. It is November 18th here. And we know that uh, when the winter comes around, we like to bundle up. And there are a lot of, Elle did a great article last week about women who were inspired by men's fashions, men's cardigans, men's sweaters, and sort of taking it on as their own. I think sweaters are always fun things to pass around between both sexes. And um, Elle did a really fun article on the subject. Brian, I mean, I think in Elle it said they, they called it different names. I think one was grandpa sweaters. <laughs> I like to call them ugly sweaters, but I think ugly sweaters are like the prettiest, and I think they make great party themes also. Yes, um, they do. <laughs> first up, we have America's favorite dad, Bill Cosby, and I think he was the pioneer. I for, would say so. I right? think so. Yes, he was. I mean, I love that sweater. He just looks so jolly. I mean, who doesn't <laughs> want to... <laughs> who doesn't love Mr. Huxtable? And then the next sweater, this was this is actually a woman's sweater which was inspired by Mr. Huxt, uh, Huxtable. Did you know that? I, di I didn't know that. Yeah. 
And I don't know if we have any information. Let me see. Yes, we do. That's that's a silence and noise zip-up ah, cardigan for fifty-nine dollars that is I think that? you can get there. Oh Urban no, Outfitters. I'm sorry. That's a that is a Vanessa Bruno cotton blend anti Sara knit pullover for three eighty-five. That is not oh, a cheap sweater. But you know, I think all those colors, all those layers moving into it, it's worth it. And you know, we see women taking, pulling from iconic father figures there. All right, next up we have in the sweater vein, my favorite, Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers is really fantastic. Um, as you can see, today I'm rocking a cardigan here. This is um, a Zara favorite. This piece I had, I believe it was $59 that I got from Zara. And I love the sort of hoodie, the thick hood here. It keeps me warm when I want to bundle up, so I don't need to add anything else to it. But I think it really, really works for me. Um, so this is a Zara piece for 59 wow. and you know I was I rocked the cardigans in high school and college and I think they're timeless pieces. And you still pieces. do Brian. Th thank you yes I do. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to get a cardigan we have them in men's and women's. Uh, this one is by Urban uh, Silence and Noise zip up cardigan from Urban Outfitters for 59 for the ladies and this one here is a men's from H&M. Oh which also which goes for 49 You guys look like twins. We could be twinsies, I <laughs> yes. think so. And of course, no conversation about sweaters would be complete without talking about everybody's favorite uh, roommates, Mr. Burt and Ernie. Here we see them, you know, the, I think this is the age old question, vertical or horizontal lines? Which is better, oh. vertical or horizontal? Um, but if you want to get the inspired Burt and Ernie sweaters, you can check out the Elder Statesman um, multicolored striped sweater for $1,090. Um, it's a bit of a high price point there, but they are lovely striped sweaters. That is almost all the time we have for today. But um, before we go, I, each, I ask each of our guest co-hosts to bring in one of their favorite objects of the week. So, Miss Alexandra Troy, what have you brought in today? Well, first of all, I'm wearing my favorite ugly sweater, just for you, Brian. I, love I hope it. you like this. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And then, so for today's under the feather the boa, we have, I brought in two pieces, okay? The first piece is, since we were talking about ear cuffs, I brought my own ear cuff. Nice. Yeah. This is one of my favorite fashion accessories, which I don't ever wear. <laughs> That makes sense. I just like to look at Probably it. Probably because you haven't broken up with anybody recently. Is that, <laughs> is that like why to, you haven't broken up no, with anybody it's recently? No, weird, but I'll, I'll wear it and then I'll go out and then I'm driving and 10 minutes after I leave the house, it's off. So I don't, I don't, I can't commit to it. Okay, Maybe got it's it. the commitment. Got it. And then my other favorite uh, fashion accessory piece is hoop earrings. Uh -huh. I think I've had hoop earrings. I've been wearing hoop earrings since I was in junior high and it's, I'm from Brooklyn. So... You have to have a hoop earring. I think this is my trademark here in LA. Do you like it, Brian? I do. I, do. <laughs> I love hoop earrings, especially if you're going to if, if you're going to put your hair up and do a nice little hoop. Yeah. It really makes a, it's they're fun. It's sassy. Circles are my favorite geometric shape. I do mm. love circles. The circle of life. I think it's very symbolic, very meta. I love circles. So a hoop earrings yeah. continues that continues that theme for me. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us here today on TaylorMade. Hopefully you learned something a little new for yourself. Um, but, but before we go, Alexandra, where can people find you? I hope um, to be found <laughs> on Facebook, uh, backslash Alexandra Choi. I'm also on Twitter, same thing, backslash Alexandra Choi, and Instagram. And my blog, everybody, it's the Diary of the Thriving Actress. Thank you. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for joining us here on TaylorMade. Again, make sure to like us on Facebook, friend us on Twitter at, at TaylorMadeBrian, and we'll see you here tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for your 15 minutes of fun, fashion, and style. Until then, have a great day. You're watching Taylor Made with Brian Rada on EmpowerMe.tv. Be sure to watch us on YouTube and Daily Motion, and like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.